In today's video, I'm gonna be trying to shoot film for the first time ever. And by ever, I mean literally the first time ever. I mean, I'm just, I'm, oh God. You may be watching this as a fellow noob. And if that's the case, welcome, you're in the right place. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. So hopefully maybe you'll learn something throughout this video, hopefully. Or you might be someone who is more experienced with shooting film, and if that's the case, get ready to cringe, like a lot. Because even just going back and editing this video, I'm like halfway through the edit right now, some of the things that I did not know what I was doing are kind of sad, but you know what? It's all part of the process, right? Okay, I'm gonna stop talking and let's get right into the video. <laughs> You know what the first step is to trying to shoot film for the first time? Watching YouTube tutorials. Hold on, we skipped step one of how to open the thing. Okay, I can open it. Things are going well, guys. <laughs> like to oh. drop that in there and give it a wiggle. Just in case you didn't see that. Give it a wiggle. Should I take another one? We're doing it. Oh my god, it's not hooked on. Oh no, it's not on the little springy, whatever the frick that means. Should I wait for Roberto to do this? No, I am an independent woman. He's about to f up a roll of film if I don't be careful. So, but you can see that little hook is in the sprocket hole. Yeah, mine's not. Can I r rewind backwards? Do you guys want to see what I'm doing? <laughs> so I can get yelled at in the comments. Woo! This is not supposed to be that loose and it's not stuck or whatever that guy was saying. Oh, Jesus! All right, what happens if I just close it? Okay, now I need to learn about how to actually use the camera. I've, I've done a little bit, but like not a lot. Have you shot film before? Um, uh, I grew up shooting film. I, oh, well forever. I should have waited for you to put this in here. The last time I shot film, I might have actually had a girlfriend. <laughs> Long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to take the first shot. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. So I need to set the focus first, probably. I think I'm wound up. Ah, okay, now I have to do the light thing with it. So it wants me to put it. This is aperture. Wait, I'm trying to remember. Shutter speed, aperture, focus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, this is my first Struggle. time. Let's do this. So let's put it at 11. This would be a great episode of Retro Tech. All right, I think we're set. Oh wait, now I'm saying you do something different. I took it. That was stressful. That was stressful. <laughs> I don't know why, because it's done. Hi, Audrey's vlog. Uh, this is me getting ready to pose here on the steps right now. All right, Roberto's setting up over there. I'm gonna take this picture. This baby said that they don't got a future. Future like God, it burns. So give him something worse to kill his head with, make him forget somehow. Might be that another day she would have wished he stayed, but they're done. Sorry, this won't be enough this time. Yeah. <laughs> She's not thrilled about this. Oh my, oh my goodness, you can't do this. We're supposed to look like a happy family, man. Oh my god! It's been a couple days. You guys want to see something cool? Ready? Go! <laughs> He's literally a dog. <laughs> um, I still have 10 or so photos left, which is quite a lot. But, you know, for the purpose of this video, I thought I need to finish it up. So <laughs> we're just gonna go. I think so far my thoughts shooting with this camera and just shooting film in general is frustrated. I'm very excited to see the results. Maybe this is a really Gen Z thing to say, or maybe I'm just impatient, but it is weird to not be able to see what I'm taking. Bro, the Olympics are for a couple months. Calm down. <laughs> a short bike ride to the crib, you no hands out. Did it feel like I'm floating? But I'm falling with both eyes closed when I let the world spin. Testing the water, she got my nurse test. Back when I ain't even have a purpose. I was so eager to learn some things. Anxiety bring out the worst of me. Society pay me so I'm dying. It's so hot out here. I just recorded a whole segment. I wasn't filming. What I was saying is that I was just walking around for like an hour, taking photos, trying to finish up this roll because I need to get them developed today. 
I saw on their website that they do it in like one day so I'm really hoping that they're not busy and that they can do that. I have like three photos left that I'm gonna take on my way to the store and hope that I didn't mess this roll up somehow. I realized on my drive over here that I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Like do you take the film out of the camera or do you leave it in and just give them the entire camera? I literally had a dream the other night where I opened up the back of the camera and over and exposed all the film. So I'm going to take that as a sign and not do that. All right, I'm going to go take the last couple photos, walk over there, and hopefully everything works out fine. All right, mission accomplished, I think. Um, I literally, I literally just went up to her and was like, I'm not gonna lie, I was frantically looking up YouTube videos while I was waiting in line, but I decided to just bite the bullet and ask the person and not mess it up, so. It looks like everything worked well. Remember when I was freaking out trying to put the film in the camera correctly? Can I r rewind backwards? I think it worked out, so that's good. Hello and welcome to Film School 101 brought to you by someone who dropped out of film school. So that's how you know it's gonna be good. <laughs> I'm gonna show you real quick how to actually do it. I'm using this black and white film this time. Open the camera, you kinda wanna take this, you can take this latch and you just kinda pull it up and the back should open up like so. Okay, so once you put this in here, you need to put this little piece back down to put the film in place. The little pointy bit goes on the bottom, not the top. Then you take this film, you roll it out a little bit, and you put it in here. Try and make sure that it's aligned with the little sprockets or whatever they're called. So yeah, then you slowly just kind of load it forward. So I took a photo and then slowly wound it forwards with this little lever here. I hold here to make sure that it stays flat and then I slowly just turn this forwards and it should hook in there like this and the back should be, okay, this camera is doing its job too well. It should just kind of be flat on here and it should wind up there like that. And once you've done that, you can close it. Yeah, don't open it anymore. So on the top here, there's like a little button that shows what number photo you're at. So there's a couple blanks so that you don't accidentally expose the film. So you need to move forward until you're at number one. So if the next time I move forwards, I will be on one. So that will be the first photo. And then I'm ready to go. And when you want to undo it, the goal is to basically wind it back into its little roll so that you can give it to the person um, to develop the film. So you would take this little lever, crank it backwards until you hear a little click, and then you know that it's all back in. The number should be going backwards all the way to zero. Then you can open the thing up once it's loose and there's no more tension anymore. And you can put it back in here if you want, or you don't have to, and you give it to the people and you're done. I'm a pro, guys. Oh, and one other thing you can do if you want is take this and put it in the back of your camera so if you have a bad memory like me, you don't forget. <laughs> I'm using this, so I'm gonna put it back here. When you first get the film, you need to set the ISO to the correct number. So it should say like what the ISO is. So this one is 400. These little green numbers here, that's the ISO. So you wanna change that. And yeah, I mean, the rest is basically like how you would use a normal camera. This is the focus ring. This is the aperture here um, that you set with the light meter that you can see in the viewfinder. Yeah, and you can mess with the shutter speed up here, which will obviously impact the decision of the aperture. It's pretty, you know, if you guys are into cameras, you already know this stuff. It's pretty self-explanatory. I'm not gonna go into too much detail. If you guys really want a more in-depth tutorial, I will link to some in the description and I'll probably do a way more in-depth video in the near future. That's all you need to know. These are the basics. Let's get on with the video, shall we? <gasps> oh, I kind of like this one. It's Braves. Yeah, we're jumping around. Oh yeah, this is just a house. That's a vibe. In Atlanta. That's a strong vibe. It's just a house. And look, the lady, she's walking her dog. We got movement. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a photographer. <laughs> you can really sense the motion in this mm, book. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh wait, so this is what I did. I took one of a house in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And then I took a house in California. <gasps> See, Honestly, I, I thought they were like next door neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, uh, the lighting actually came out really good. I it was, 
I was worried because I forgot to even teach you that there's a shutter speed on the top. Oh. <laughs> and I was like, I just completely forgot that shutter speed existed. So I didn't even change the shutter, shutter well, speed. But I guess it worked out. A, okay, this one I thought was just super LA. Oh, the trash? The litter? No, we <laughs> Almond milk? <laughs> Someone was like, yep, just finished drinking this and just like threw it out the window of their car. Whoa. This one I took because it's my dad's favorite. How does it all look in focus? I mean, <sighs> the film just makes it look cool. It does. Like if I took this on my iPhone, I'd be like, that's just a tree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but now it's but spicy no. <laughs> tree. <gasps> These are my dogs. I had them sit still and it kind of worked. It looks like Belle's taking a... Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say it, you did. <laughs> Here's one of Rusty. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with that photo. I took one on my phone too to show the difference. Here, I'll show you. Here's what it looks like on my phone. And that's Whoa, what it came that's so out much on the phone. I'll put it on the screen. Oh my god, okay, I was waiting for this one because the lighting was just so nice and it actually. Rusty's a little overexposed, but other than that, I'm really happy with this one. Like a globe. Oh, I you love this one. I don't think Rusty was set for my bed. <laughs> <laughs> I took this one for my brother. Oh, the cars. Yeah, I saw these vintage cars. <gasps> look at this. Look at the sun. Like what? Normal? Do normal cameras do this? Like where what there's that? like. That literally looks photoshopped. I know. What the. Cameras don't do this, like DSLRs, right? Dude, that's the beauty about film cameras. I have limited amount of time before I die of heat, so let's finish up this video real fast. Those photos came out really cool. Wow. Got the negatives, they're cool. Can these be in the sun? Doesn't matter. Don't know what I'm gonna do with these, but um, hello. Yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. Once stuff starts opening up more and more and people get vaccinated to bring in guests and like meet people who are actually pros at what they do. And so like, for example, I could have collabed with someone who's a film photographer and just kind of incorporated that into the video. I think that would be really educational, but still fun. Let me know what you guys think. I think this could be a really fun series where I try things for the first time. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Also, I haven't mentioned this here on the channel yet, but I stream on Twitch. We're getting into it slowly but surely i'm um, talking a lot about like photo video stuff that's something i'm also doing for the first time and i'm making an entire video about that so if you want to be part of the behind the scenes on that future episode you should go follow me over on twitch it's a fun time all right i'll see you guys next time bye